Hi guys, welcome back to another BBJ Vlogs video. This is the first away day vlog on the channel. It is Wigan versus West Bromwich Albion. Um, I'm really excited for this one, guys. This is the first time I'm going to Wigan, and this is the first time I'm going to the uh, DW Stadium. Um, last time for the two teams, uh, obviously, Wigan got shell-shocked at home against Burnley. They lost 5-1, and last time out for the Albion was a 2-2 draw at uh, Huddersfield. Um... What we've got to improve on for the Albion is we've got to do better going forward. I mean, when we played Huddersfield, they were playing really defensively. Um, they did not want us to get past, and the, yeah, they did. It really worked. And um, I mean, the first half, uh, Tino Andrin. It was all about Tino Andrin in that first half because he got Huddersfield two goals. One was a well day from thirty yards, curved into the top right, and uh, the other one was. I think yeah, he intercepted on O'Shea. I don't know what happened to O'Shea, but I don't know if he fell over or um, it might have been a potential foul. But Andrin was through on goal and was a good finish. And then, luckily, just before the break, Jed Wallace manages to get a goal back for the Albion. And then the second half, um, John Swift dinks it over to Wallace. And then first time shot, absolutely superb finish. But um, what we need to improve on against Wigan tonight, we've got to manage to break down the defence and the midfield because Huddersfield were very defensively against us and it worked and we couldn't get past. So we've got to try find a way to be more creative and more... Well, the possession's good. We've just got to find a way to get past the midfield and the defence and also get some goals in the net. So, I mean, it's going to be a weird one because Wigan, they can play class and they can play bad. So it's going to be a bit of in the middle. Um... I mean, I want to be confident and say this could be a 2-1 Albion win. I'll probably say Jed Wallace will probably get another goal and maybe Grant. And I think for Wigan, it might be Callum Lang. I mean, I think, I think that's if he's in the team. But yeah, I do know he's a pretty decent player for Wigan, Callum Lang. So I think he'll probably score first in the match. And then the Albion will come back and make it 2-1. And uh, yeah. Come on, Albion. Let's go to the DW Stadium. Right guys, in the stadium, um, team's been announced for the Albion, um, Furlong has been dropped to the bench, uh, Bartley is uh, coming in, I think he's, I don't know if he's playing right back, I mean it's a bit strange, but yeah, he could be potentially playing right back, um, still got the same, from Thrill, uh, Wallace, Grant, the Angana. Um, so Hall's on the bench, uh, Robinson's not there, but I think that's probably uh, because of Preston, I think, yeah, he might be going to Preston, but um, yeah, so Zahor is going to come on the bench, um, yeah, all we've got to do now is just, yeah, it's, obviously it's the same squad, except from Bartley, but all we've got to do now is just hopefully we can get the goals in, and just hopefully we can win the game, and it's actually quite a nice ground there, uh, Wigan, I mean, it's the first, obviously, as I said at the start of the video, it's my first time being here, so, yeah, it's actually a pretty nice ground, and, uh, yeah, we've got a while to kick off, so come on out here. Josh McGuinness had a lot of strength, managed to overtake him, and then took the finish well, and yeah, 
that's poor from Ajayi. I mean, he should be dealing better with that Ajayi, but yeah, it's 1 0 Wigan. Josh McGuinness, not the start the Albion wanted. Come on, Albion, snap out of it. Seventeen minutes gone. It's still one the Wigan. A J is now pulled up. His bloody hamstring's gone. Um, apparently his calf's gone. But um, well, we'll see. But, yeah, he's pulled up. Right, it does not look good. But um, yeah, it's not been great either. In the seventeen minutes, but we have got to give it time. But usually, when it comes to half time, Bruce gives them a rocket up their arse, and hopefully we can get going again. But right now. Coming up to 20 minutes, it's not been great, and uh, yeah, the Jay's gone down. Come on, Albion, let's try to sort this out. Yes, Albion 1-1, uh, one, one. and uh, yeah, Carl and Grant with the goal, Wigan dispossessed, place at the bottom left corner, he took it well, and right, let's just hope this goal, let's give a rocket up our arses, and let's dominate the game, let's just hope, <laughs> let's just hope we can, oh my god! Just really been really jamming. Let's just hope this goal is given a rocket up our arses and let's just hope we can take control. Come on, Albion! I mean, from all the away those I've been to, I mean, this has probably been the deadest Albion crowd I've ever seen. But these two are the greatest fans in the stadium right now. So, guys, it's um, half time, it's Wigan 1, West Brom 1. Um, that was the most boringest half of football I've seen so far this season. Um, literally, Wigan fans have been dead, the Albion fans have been dead. I mean, obviously, we saw those uh, two fans singing their hearts out for the Albion. It's fair play to them. But, um, yeah, it's been very poor. Um, it's just been really, it's been really hard to break them down. They don't want us to their own possession. They want them, obviously, you know, they want us to be able to get um, yeah, it's been very poor. Um, other than my Carl and Grant chance, we've, looking, we've been lucky to get that at least. But um, right, let's just hope Bruce uh, gives the, the players a rocket up their arse and hopefully we can play some good football for the second half and hopefully some atmosphere can come into this away end. Come on, Albion! Right guys, second half just about to go in the way. Um, let's just hope Bruce has made uh, the uh, players a ball again. So let's just hope the album can give some action in this second half. I mean, it can't be any worse than the first. So let's just hope we can get the win. I mean, the second, first half obviously hasn't been great. Let's just hope the second half can be a lot better from the Albion. Come on, Albion. Well, it's the first uh, corner of the game that goes to Wigan. I mean, I'm going to film it because nothing at all has been coming going in this match. It's been so boring. I mean, obviously, it has, well, obviously, just got in the way. And it's gone in! And it goes past everyone. But, um, I mean, we've got possession at the back, but nobody in the midfield or attack is moving. It's just been, it's just, again, we just don't know what to do with it. I mean, bloody Wigan, they don't know what to do. I mean, they've hardly had the ball. But literally, when they've had the ball, they just end up losing it, and then it's just the same old thing for the Albion, play it at the back, and we don't know what to do with it. So, again, nearly 60 minutes gone, nothing's improved. I don't even think we're going to get a win out of this, and if we do, it's very reserved, because it's been shit. Um, come on, Albion. Albion have made a sword, Bjorkus Lewis come off, and on comes Livermore. I mean, it's about time we made a change, I mean, again, still nothing's happening. I mean, right now, it's just, oh, yeah, it's just so dead, it's so dead, it's not been a very good trip at Wigan, and I don't know why, I mean, that's, I mean, Livermore, I don't, he can't do anything with this bloody lot, I mean, what the hell is Livermore going to do? So, yeah, we finally reached 60 minutes, uh, Spelter McLean, uh oh, uh oh. I, it could be, and again, it goes past everyone. And again, we can get the ball back there, looking a little bit better. It's crossed in. Ooh, it just goes wide, I think. Jesus. 
Yeah, this is really worrying. This is really, really worrying. Come on, Albion. Free kick to Albion. This is possibly the first... Actually, no. We've had a free kick. This is Well, not outside the box, it's just on the right of the box. But, um, yeah, let's see if uh, John Smith can get a good ball in and let's just hope someone can get at least a shot or a header on it. So right now, it's the only thing that can save us right now is a corner or a free kick. Ooh. Shit. Absolutely shit. Absolute shit. Albion have a free kick. And again, this is a very dangerous position. And yeah, I think uh, Swift has taken it. I mean, obviously, in the last one against Hull City, um, hit the bar. Actually, they didn't hit the bar. It was, uh, so, yeah, what a one, yeah. James McLean! What a one, yeah. what a one, yeah. yeah, I completely forgot that James McLean played for uh, Wigan until I saw the uh, team sheets on the way in. But um, anyway, John Swift, free kick. Let's just hope. He's got to take this. Because I tell you now, I don't, I mean, it's just, I don't know, I ain't got no words. Let's just hope we can take this free kick well. Top left, top left, Swift. Just don't go over the bar. Just don't go over the bar. Come on, Swifty. Come on, Swifty. Come on, Swifty. Woo! I mean, came off the wall. It looked like it was going in. And we have a ball now. Come on, Albion. Swift again, taking another, another set piece. Come on, Swifty. Good ball, that's a good hit. Oh, oh my god! Took him down, no, Brante. Board. Yeah, once again, back to board. Cleared away. But it's, I think, yeah, it's another corner to Wigan. David Ryan, we've nearly got about, um, yeah, probably say about nearly 16 minutes left for this match, and then we'll get into uh, added time. Um, yeah, here we go. Wigan have another corner, and again, it's over cross and it's wide. Again. That was a crap corner from Wigan and it's a goal kick for the Albion. Albion had a good chance then. Townsend with the cross, but it was a good ball, no one there. Absolutely bloody, no one's moving, that's the problem. And it looks like they're actually bringing Kenneth Zahor on. I mean, he has not played for the Albion, and probably since 2020. I mean, I've not seen him play for so long. And it's cost in! Oh, hang on, it's still in play and. Oh, Livermore getting interception, that's good. It's chipped over. Uh, that didn't do anything, just went back to that aim on And, uh, yeah. I mean, turns out I'm an idiot. Matt Booth is coming on. I mean, again, it's worth it because right now nothing again has happened in this first half, in the second half, sorry. I mean, for a moment I thought it was the ball, but no, it's Matt Phillips. But, um, yeah, let's see if he makes a difference. Um, we're going to make a difference, and right now I don't know. Albion with a throw, I mean, Furlong can take it long. Is it crossing well? And it's still in play for the Albion. Now I'm going to it, and McLean clears it away. Albion do win the ball back, though. Townsend. Carl and Grant. Oh my god! Yeah! Oh, and Dunnus. Nayambe. Again, Garner manages to intercept, but it goes out the ball. Oh, now being throw, actually. Oh, I mean, that must be slightly raising, but. Yeah, just don't get your own sort of book. Go on, Matt Phillips, go on! Come on, Albion! Put in! Yes, Joe Saint! Oh! Take 
take it. I mean, it's outside, it's on the right again. Let's just hope we can take it. I don't think that was a free kick anyway. Oh dear, oh dear, come on Albion. Right, Albion with the free kick, John Swift. We've got to get this right. Because right now, like I said before, it's the only chance, it's the only way we're going to get a goal. Come on, Swift. Come on, Swifty. Pushed away by Amos. And again, no one there, no one urging for the ball. It's a throw in though, so Furlong should be on this. He is, I think. Yeah, Wallace is giving it to Furlong. Again, another chance. Let's just hope we can take it. I'm not getting my hopes up. I mean, it would be nice, but I just can't see it. But come on, Albion. Come on. Come on, Furlong. Comes in. It's a long ball. And it's headed away again. Liverpool with a header. And it's in the keeper's hands. Right, guys. I'm back home. Uh, obviously, it's next day. Uh, as you may know, it finished uh, Wigan 1, uh, West Brom 1. Um, that was probably the most deadest game I've ever been to and probably the worst atmosphere from uh, the home and away fans, especially uh, Wigan and West Brom. Um, it wasn't a good performance. The players, they didn't want to do it with anything with it. Neither did Wigan. I mean, James McLean was literally trying. I mean, he desperately wanted to score against the Albion, but he just couldn't do it. But, um, yeah, it just wasn't either side's day. I mean, Wigan were lucky with a goal. I mean, he was poor from semi J and then Carlin Grant with a good finish, and that was it, really. And, I mean, obviously, it was a new stadium I've been to, and, uh, yeah, that's the only thing I've got to say good about that uh, vlog. So, yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. I'll see you for Burnley in a bit.